Good morning or afternoon, technically. <laughs> this is impromptu. This is actually happening way in advance of whenever I will get to doing this video. But I am on my way right now um, to pick up a two drawer dresser from a gentleman who posted it on Kijiji. I've got an idea of what I want to do for my, I guess, water area in the van the fresh water, the gray water, and the sink. And now it's the Malm dresser from Ikea. It's just a little two drawer dresser. I have one already and it fits over one of my water jugs pretty well with a little bit of space left where there's no way you'd fit a second one in there. So I've got an idea of sort of Frankensteining two of them together. And so I hopped on Ikea's website today. The little two drawer dresser, $70. I what? I don't remember buying that for $70. I feel like that price has been jacked up. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. Either way, I jumped on Kijiji, typed in mom, and this gentleman had posted the two drawer dresser like four hours ago for $10. And I'm headed over there to grab it from him right now because that's a savings of 60 whole dollars plus tax. It's a different color, but that's irrelevant because I plan on sanding them both down and getting them to be the same color anyway. And who knows, this might totally go tits up and not work at all. But even if that is the case, I will have spent $10 to have gotten some more wooden supplies. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, I will check back in with you once we have the dresser. Okay, so it was relatively painless. Got the uh, the second dresser. It is right there. There's the one I already had. Like I said, they don't match. We'll make a match. Part of the fun. But yeah, that's, I don't know when I'm going to actually get to this video. So we'll see you in the next clip of that video when I get there. I've taken them apart. I took the slides for the drawers out and I've taken one side off of each of them because the theory, and this might totally go to pot, the theory is I'm gonna put them together and make my water storage bins and put the sink and stuff in here. It's the plan, it, like I said, might not come to fruition. They're gonna go together essentially like this. Right here, it's very weak, so I'm thinking I'll use, you'll see that there's a support beam here that was a, that's still attached to the beige one. This is the same one that was on the black one. Something like this to add some structural support to this. And then I'm reusing some materials. And then of course I'm hitting everything with construction adhesive. Apparently I should buy stocks in the PL construction adhesive, but I really believe in it. It's quite solid. And again, I've probably said it before, but I'm gonna reiterate everything bottle of spray foam. Everything in the van is going through many earthquakes every day because you're moving. So the more structural integrity and security I can give everything that I'm building, probably the better. This one might not actually end up being wide enough this way. We'll see. Um, before I do that, I also want to take apart the walls that are going to remain. So this piece here, undo it from here. And again, reinforce along all of these seams with construction adhesives. Adhesive. Singular. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to think outside the bubble. Let's see how this goes. This video is going to be very cobbled together over weeks, I believe, but that's just the way the process is. That's where this process is at now. So yeah, I got no idea if that's gonna work or not, but it seems pretty sturdy and everything I've put construction adhesive on so far has become a rock solid. So eh, I'll be super happy if it works out. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to like reinforce up here because these just don't quite meet because this is where the other um, side of the cabinets were. So I may have to remove these two parts and then use like one of those old Ikea bed frame pieces to kind of create a more structurally sound joint at the bottom. The other option is doing a similar situation like one of these things on the back of these and joining them, but that still is going to be quite compromised. So that we'll still have to figure out, but for now we gotta let this dry. Nothing else we can do. Let's move on. Okay, got her in. I know it don't look like much, but this is the idea and that dried up really nicely so they're together. One water bin here, another one over there for gray tank, but clearly we're not gonna leave it like this because it just looks real weird. <laughs> but I'm super happy that that cured up. It's almost like I don't need any more support on the back. I'm still going to zip it up and add obviously like 
a backing and doors here on the front, but we're on the right path. But for now, let's go blow off some steam. Not that I have a lot of steam, but this should be fun. Those are too cool. That was super fun, and I'm very excited to continue doing it. Fun story about four or five months ago, depending on when this video gets posted, I actually went to that same shooting range and took my non-restricted firearms course and test. So it was a one day course, and at the end of the day, you do a practical exam and a written exam, 100% on both. Not bragging, but bragging a little bit. So I've sent the application in to get my license, and that is super backlog, so I probably won't get it for like the next five years. But anyways, that was awesome. So my dad has his license. We went today and I got to fire a lever action rifle. I don't know the caliber, don't ask me. I do know that the shotgun was an 870 Remington pump action shotgun and it was super fun. I am a shotgun guy, turns out. Buckshot, yeah, it's okay. I didn't shoot any of the Magnum rounds. Turned out dad had about four rounds of Magnum buckshot. Almost put him on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> and it built me up. We just thought we just thought it was the buckshot because we started with the slug rounds, and then we went on to the buckshot. And we didn't check to see that they had, that they said Magnum first. So he fired all of those, and he was like, "Oh, it made a big deal out of it, right?" So then we loaded it back up for me with buckshot, and I braced and got myself all psyched up and ready for like the biggest kickback I'd ever felt. And then it was the exact same amount of kickback as the slugs that I had just shot. And then we realized that it wasn't Magnum Buckshot that I was using, so there you go. Uh, so anyways, yeah, I'll definitely be, we'll be, we'll be hitting that uh, shooting range up some more for sure, because that is lots of fun. Um, water station, <laughs> so this is where it's at now. Uh, let me see, so these skinny bars were actually up at the top here and down here, Wah! were the bigger ones, right? They're a little thicker, you can see. But this is where the water gets loaded into, so this was almost kind of interfering with it. 
So I remove the big ones from down here, move the skinny ones down here, use this third piece to reinforce it. So it's being clamped right now with a whole bunch of, you guessed it, construction adhesive. And then I put a screw into each as well. And I'm probably gonna do something very similar just down here. This ends up being the back of the little cabinet that I'm making. So I'll reinforce it again with something like that. Whoa, that's blown out. Something like that, probably do that tomorrow. And then the whole thing's gonna have to get primed and painted. I'll probably just go with the gray that everything else is. We'll see, who knows? Maybe I'll do it in flame orange. And then I also have to build doors because I'll need access to be able to get to the water jug. So let's jump ahead into the future and see what that looks like. Okay. Just a quick update on the water station. Um, didn't get much done today. Had a daddy-daughter day, which was awesome, but the rest of the day sort of went to shit. Maybe I'll get into it later. Might actually get a whole other video out of it. Who knows? But anyways, so everything that I've put together so far is staying together really well. The screws, the construction adhesive down here, everything's holding, it's really solid. And I just sanded this down with some 60 grit sandpaper. Started to take the finish off this side. You can't really see it on this side because it's already <laughs> light in color. Oh my goodness. There we go. So that's where we're at. I am gonna prime it and paint it. I don't know what color I want to do my cabinets. I haven't kind of made that decision yet. There's no winning right now. It's either blown out and you can see me or I go real dark and you can see the cabinet. So we'll leave it there. Um, yeah, I don't know what color I want to do all of my cabinets in the van. I mean, automatically I just think, well, gray, like the trim, but that might be kind of boring. So I don't know. Either way, the next step is to decide whether or not I'm going to put like a sheet uh, well, this is MDF board, right? And obviously bigger, but it's a piece to cover the entire thing just to help reinforce it some more. Or if I'm just gonna paint this primer in whatever color I choose to go with. Maybe I don't finish this before it gets posted and let me know what you think the color of my cabinet should be. But anyways, I'll check back in tomorrow. Like I said, today's a crap day. Talk to you soon. Okay, for an update on the water station, which may end up being more than just the water station. I've got ideas. But anyway, this is where we're at right now today. I cut the other wall piece, the black one, down. Oh, every time I do this, I get construction adhesive on me. And anyways, I now have it, yeah, right, right, I made it shorter because this one is the one that's going to open up and be our door. I just need to attach the hinges to the other side. This one I'm going to add screws to here just to secure it and then we pretty much have it done for now i added the actual ikea backings to it i'm not going to make that permanent because i'm thinking that's the side that's going to be on the inside of the van i may actually want another door on that side so i can access the jugs without having to get out of the van we're not worrying about that right now but that's where that's at today okay no that's no glory i figured i might as well do something today instead of just letting another day go by without doing anything to the water station so we can actually get this done sides are primed doors primed looking at soul color swatches to paint but i also of course will need well, two holes i don't have one for the sink one for the faucet i don't have the faucet yet um i just had this in the van and i kind of positioned the gray water tank where i would where it will be and it makes the most sense to sort of have the sink off center and in this corner and that gives me the most counter space and i should still be able to sort of access the sink from the outside of the van. I have no idea what I'm doing. The reason I'm nervous is that one, I've never done this before, obviously I've never done any of this before. And two is I spent a lot of time putting this together and I sound like I have two other dressers, but screw this up. Whatever, let's do it. Oh, here we go. All right, well, that was easy. coming apart really easily. Oh boy. The problem is, is like it grabs the jigsaw and carries you off course. There's a hole. Oh, it fits. I didn't have to do nothing. Well, I mean, I might want to clean it up a bit. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, so here, let me see, actually, let me take you out of this tripod thing. Okay, so here it is. Yeah, so it's, it's up a little bit, right? I don't think there's going to be any way of forcing it down. So yeah, I probably want to clean up that edge a bit. But that is pretty cool. 
No, you probably don't need a sink if you're gonna live in a van, but if you can make one out of what you have, why not? I got a nice place to brush my teeth at night.